Day Travellers, Chris here and welcome to your day trip to Green Island where we'll be snorkeling the Great Barrier Reef and we're heading out on this boat right behind me. That's right folks, we're on a day trip from Cairns to Green Island and we had to meet the boat at the Reef Fleet Terminal at Cairns Marina. This can be done by booking online or you can go and see them in the many different tour companies at the Reef Terminal. Green Island's not the only island you can go to, so you'll have to see what's on offer and what you're planning on doing. Today's catamaran is made of aluminium and has three levels. It's about 33 metres in length and can fit up to about 330 passengers. These boats do fit a lot of people on board and busy times can get crowded. We're visiting out of school holidays for this trip and not on the weekend, so the boat was only half full for us. And look, this is where we're going today, a green island, which is just a small island off the coast of Cairns with a small resort on it. If you booked online, the ticket is also emailed to you and you just need to show the boarding pass to the boat crew before you get on board. As we were snorkeling today, we were directed to the middle floor to pick up our snorkel hire equipment. Although you can bring your own gear if you want. They do require a small deposit, which you'll get back when returning the snorkel gear. After that, get yourself comfortable in one of the seats and ready to depart. Before I forget, if you're prone to seasickness, then you might want to organise this before the boat leaves. Once you get sick, it's too late, and there were a few people on today's trip that got caught off guard. It's always nice to see the marina and check out the sights as the boat's leaving. You can make your way to the top deck, sit in the sun for a bit, or ride here the whole way out. Or you can grab some snacks, drinks, fresh tea and coffee from the small cafe on board. You can hire a locker for your personal items on board the boat or there are others on Green Island. For this occasion, I think it was cheaper and more convenient on the island itself. The ride out to Green Island is just over an hour, so you will need to keep yourself entertained with something like a book, chatting to the other passengers or taking a short nap. Then you arrive on the island and exit the boat. This trip is basically just a ride only and you're simply dropped off on Green Island to enjoy everything that it has to offer and you don't come back to the boat until it's about to leave. Although this was a beautiful sunny day, it was still pretty windy and the waters weren't as calm as what I'd like. But I was still eager to get in and see what was underneath. Green Island has a small section right off the beach that's great for snorkeling and depending on the tides to what you're going to find. It's beautiful clear waters and even though it is winter you'll find the water temperature about 22 degrees. The island itself has a nice big jetty, a walking path around the island, a few shops, cafes, a bar for drinks, crocodile enclosure and a small resort and restaurant. They also have an underwater viewing submarine which you can book before you visit but we chose to do the snorkeling today. It will take you about 10 minutes to walk around, check out the shops, tour office, dive shop, and the guest pool. We mainly walked around because we were trying to find the locker to hire, which was right behind the bar. Cost about $7 for four hours, which was plenty of time for us to go snorkeling and check out the rest of the island. You could access the lockers as many times as you wanted during the day too. Within no time, we were jumping in the water and checking out the underwater life Green Island had to offer.
and we were lucky enough to see all this great stuff. Christmas tree ferns, clams in many different sizes and some really huge. Blue spotted stingrays, hard and soft corals, sea cucumbers, triggerfish, parrotfish, lionfish, Schools of fish hanging out underneath the jetty. Porcupine fish. And very lucky to be running into this young green turtle who didn't seem to be bothered by us too much and swam around us for a long time. It doesn't cost anything to do the snorkeling, but you can choose to do the glass bottom submarine instead. If you want to do both, there will be an extra charge. With the amount of time on the island, you can do both though, so it's up to you and your budget for the day. It's a good idea not to veer too far away from the shore or jetty. Currents can be strong sometimes and it's safer being close to land and in the shallow waters. Also stay on the resort side of the jetty, away from the mooring boats that come and go throughout the day. Snorkeling conditions can vary pending the weather and the tides. At high tide, the reefs are a few metres below the surface, but at low tide, the corals can just be centimetres under the water. We were snorkelling in the winter time, but in the summer you might want to consider a stinger suit. Firstly, from protection from the jellyfish, but secondly, for protection from the sun. If it is stinger season, then they'll probably add this option to you on board the boat with the snorkel gear. Keep in mind that this is a full day tour, but you do have the option for a half day tour as well. I suppose it depends on what you're wanting to do and how much time you need to fill in. Half day tours could be a better option for you. If you want some different snorkeling than straight off the beach, then check out the tour desk and ask about the snorkeling tours. There is a boat that will take you further out to better spots, but there's a small charge for that. Green Island is a coral cay, which means it's created with sand and rubble over time. It's been attracting visitors for decades and named a national park in 1937. It's part of the Great Barrier Heritage Area with plenty of varieties of underwater life. Back on land, you can choose to grab something for lunch, which seems to be fish and chips or burger options. You could also bring your own if you wanted to save some money. On the other hand, you can try out a few of their great cocktails or have a beer instead. Just make sure it's after the snorkeling though. When you walk more around the island, you'll find a popular beach spot with the lounge chairs. I think this is the section that's also lifeguarded. There's always an option for pulling up a chair and relaxing the whole time you're there. On the other hand, you can visit the crocodile enclosure and meet Cassius one of the oldest and biggest crocodiles in captivity. He's said to be 110 years old and five and a half metres long. Entry to this park is an extra charge and you'll need to organise that as soon as you get on the island. We were a bit late and it was all booked out. Lastly, you can wander around the island and admire or check out the rainforest. 
Literally only took us about 20 minutes to walk all the way around and most of it was boardwalked and very easy. Overall, Green Island is a great day out and well worth the trip. If you want to check out other day trips from Cairns, then make sure you click here to watch last week's episode on Coranda. Until next time, guys, see you for now. Mm -hmm.